so now let's work on our login page um i mean login function which is what we are going to be using to help the user to get into the system if they already have an account so let's go through what we have right now right now we are receiving the user account number we are checking we are validating the account number if it's the correct account number which that's that should be fine uh we are okay we are using the result of the validation to determine if we we'll continue to actually check the user details if the account number they entered is valid we'll go ahead and ask for their password if not we'll just tell them invalid account or, pa or password actually this should be uh, okay no th that's this one here um, the error we give them from this if it's here so and then we send them back to initialize the system to ask them if they have an account with us or not so what we are going to be modifying actually is here rather than doing this we are going to be doing database dot uh, I don't know what should I use um, authenticate user and just send send um, account and password so of course that method does not exist yet let's comment this and say is user authenticated and if this is true okay let's let's take out is user authenticated then do this otherwise I'm, I'm just going to cut all of this out so this is what we have and I don't have user details anymore uh, now I need to figure out how to <laughs> get user details so that means this is going to be returning user details so let's just say user here and then I have user here and that's going to be user here again this doesn't exist so I need to go and create it uh, but let's see what we will need to modify here bank operation bank operation requires a user object and it is supposed to be a list okay so we can work with that we can work with that. i don't have to modify that too much uh right so i'll go back here password there's a typo here all right that is fixed so i'll go to my database and create this function so i'll come all the way down and say define this function accepting account number and password so this is going to be a little bit straightforward i need to check if account number exists so initially i'll just say if does account number exist and if it does then i'll go ahead to check for their password so how do i check for their password now since we are working with a file i think it will be it will make more sense to separate this operation that i do here into its own function because i've had to do it twice and i will still have to do it one more time here uh, looping through or well, actually no I just need to go and read a specific um, yeah I need to just read that specific thing so let's do a read since the account number is correct if it is not correct I'm going to return false so if it's not correct it's going to return false and then when I get to my login page this is going to be false and then we're going to get this output back but if it is true then i'm going to return the actual user data so let's read the user and just call this user to be equal to whatever we find here uh, which is going to be um yeah it's going to be account number so we are going to be reading the user uh user raw let's call it user raw because right now it's still a string i need to convert it to uh a I need to convert it to um, a list All right so let's let's because we are doing the conversion here I think we are doing it somewhere else are we we are not so I'll just copy this since there's no point in um, making that its own function so user will now become raw user or oh, actually I can just uh, does the read use okay let me check again I think I've yeah read uses account number 
okay so read account number I can just move this in here right actually I just need the account number to be in here and then I'll close this so what this means is I'm reading the account the data belonging to this particular person and then converting it to a list so that I can then send back this list I can send okay okay that's be fine I can send back this list to user here so if the list exists then it just sends that list to user operation but I've not I've not checked for the password which is very important so let's check the password let's say user here uh, to be equal to that and say if um, password in you know you know the drill right uh, actually because I already know the position of my password my password will be position let us see position second to the last which is zero one two three so that will be position three I don't have to do much I'll just say if um, this is a user at position three so if the password then just return user otherwise return false so this this should work no need for this extra space so what we are doing is uh, checking if the user exists if the account number exists which we are using this method if it does we are going to be checking their password if it correlates with what we have in our database if it does then we just return that user object otherwise we return false so this should work and then once I get here I'm returning user to this particular user I'm saving that in this user variable here and then using that to perform all this operation here all right so I'll save that and try it then just do one more trick and we'll be done with this particular tutorial so let's clear this and run um, run us.py okay I have the typo there okay welcome uh, let's create a new account to be sure that everything still works uh, my email I'm going to try shayi at new.com my first name is shayi new my last name is onifadi actually let's just you know so that it's unique my password is password new and my account was successfully created everything still works properly now let's try to log in with this account that was just created and i expect that file to appear here too yeah it appeared so that's good all right so let's try to log in with this account number my password if i remember okay yeah this is my password here and i was able to log in to welcome me with my name and email so everything still works properly but to just to be sure let me log out and then log in again with a, di a bad account number and obviously it says invalid account number check blah 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 and so on I'm going to try again I'll say I want to log in again I'll use a proper account number this time I think I have one here I think I deleted that one okay yes this so a proper account number this time and a wrong password uh, just whatever I like again invalid account or password so everything still work properly if I enter a good password and I think um, I have to go and copy that so this is my password here oh that did not log me in uh, what is my password I entered my password or is that something wrong with my password this is my password All right, let me try that one more time to be sure there's nothing wrong all oh, right I'm using a wrong account number everything actually works uh, I just need to get this person's account number or this person's password is actually password so let's try that again for this particular user copy that for this user and my password is password and it works so again we've been able to migrate our code from using just a random dictionary that never actually saves to using something more reasonable using a file writing this um, entire thing to save and, and and basically operate our database that we created ourselves
Uh, I'm going to leave this update for now. We don't need it for now because we're not really doing much with it. We don't have a profile function yet. If you have a profile function, then you need this method to update the user data. So probably uh, sometime in future, I'm going to create, uh, create more tutorials to explain how you can work on profile, probably how you can send emails even from your console and so on and so forth. But for now, this is what we're going to be doing in this particular series. and. I know it's been a long series, uh, especially this last one. I just wanted to cover everything that needs to be covered. Uh, however, before I close, there is one last thing I need to mention. So when we when we work with password in our terminal, it is not safe. I mean, there are two things we need to note. Number one, it is not safe to display password the way we've been doing in the terminal. It is also not safe the way we've been saving plain password here. So this is not a good idea. We need to do something called password hashing. But we are not going to be doing that now. It's going to be an entire topic on its own that we're going to be focusing on different types of hashing, how to do them, the advantages and disadvantages, and so on. For now, I just want to hide our password from displaying uh, on in our terminal so that when you're entering the password, it doesn't show to anybody to see. So to do that, it's very easy. We just need to import something called get pass. And uh, Okay, so sorry about that. I need to specifically get something from get pass, which is actually get pass. So import get pass from get pass. Okay, I will create a little space here. And then I'll come to my login. So we'll use it for login and for and for uh, register. So I'll duplicate this line. Actually, I need to duplicate that line. So I'll say password to be equal to get pass. And then I'm going to say, what is your password? What is your password? I will add this here and that should do it. So let's comment this out and just try this. I uh, would open my terminal and run the code again. Uh, I have an account now, my account number unfortunately <laughs> that's wrong so let me get account number from here um, yeah this is correct and the password is pass so I'm typing the password now this is what I wanted to show you I almost forgot so I'm typing the password now and it's not showing that's what we want to happen we don't want people to just be able to see the password when you type it in the terminal so let's log out of this system and just try it one more time and my password should not show and if I enter a wrong password I I should get that same error I'm supposed to get so that's just how to do that very very easy to do this is all you need let's delete this and then we are going to be using this for the register um, section 2 which is here saying that saying this here and this should be capital C I have always wanted to change that and save that so now when they try to create account it's just going to display a blank screen and then the password would automatically be saved so let's just create an account to be sure that everything still works properly I'll clear this I'll run the code one more time um, py I would say I don't have an account even though I do I will say s.m.com I will say my first name is M my last name is U and um, my password is password as you can see it's not showing and then I can now log in this is my account number and my password is password so yeah that still work properly and if I check my list of uh, record here i think this is the new guy you can see that my password is still being saved so everything still work properly 